Hey, it's Deborah Atkinson. I am the host of the Flipping 50 podcast and Flipping 50 TV. And this is my sidekick, Truman, and he's a heavy breather. So what can I say? You don't even have to call 1-800-BABE, all right? But I am here and I'm gonna do an unboxing. And I wanna tell you first and foremost, this is a, um, an in-body, at-home, bathroom scale that you can use to actually monitor not just your weight because that will throw you under the bus every time girlfriend but it will help you track your lean muscle weight and your fat weight i'm recommending that everybody right now everybody in every program every household has a scale and if you need a scale that measures body composition, it is well worth the investment. I share, and you can Google this on my Amazon page. So go to Amazon or Flipping 50, Flipping 50 Amazon page, and you'll see three models that I recommend based on your budget. So if it's if it's really tight and all you can do is a, a just a model that you can get, you can order one for about $25. So depending on when it is that you're ordering, then I bumped it up and there's another model called an uh, Omron, that's the name. So for decades, I've worked with trainers and gyms and there's a handheld device that we often have used to measure body composition just on the spot. It's non-invasive. There's no need for change of clothes. Nobody has to touch you or pinch you. And we're measuring your body fat, your composition, through bioelectrical impedance. Essentially, you're holding something in your hand, it's sending that throughout your upper body. So there is a little skewed result when you get that because obviously we're not really measuring the whole body. And some bathroom scales, when you only stand on them, you're not truly getting up stairs, right? So you're not necessarily measuring as accurately as you could. Here's the thing, don't get too caught up in that. Whether it's accurate or not, and whether it says to you, you have 25% body fat or you have 18% body fat, don't get too wrapped up in whether that's right, right? Get wrapped up in, it didn't change when you didn't know what it was yesterday. You will monitor change. And if you're curious about seeing, as I lose weight, am I losing muscle or am I losing fat? You'll find out everything you need to know and you'll know if you're going in the right direction or not. You'll also get a hint about whether you're hydrated or dehydrated. We store our water largely in our muscle. So if you're dehydrated, it will probably tell you you have a little less muscle. The more hydrated you are, it's a better state for you to actually do your weight measurement on a regular basis. What's really important to you going forward when we get this all set up is that you measure on the same day of the week, the same time of day with the same status. So that might be after you wake up, you um, have a bio break and go to the restroom before you've had anything to eat or drink. That may be the time you do it. Maybe for you, you can't remember to do it then. And so it's after you've had coffee, but nothing to eat and no exercise. But it should be the same. You can't compare apples to oranges. And one day do it at the end of the day after you're dehydrated, you've worked out and changed your status from that norm of doing it in the morning when you're well hydrated and you're, you haven't exercised yet. Those are gonna be two different numbers. So what I wanna do right here is this. So if you're ordering something and you wonder how hard is that gonna be for me to pick it, to pick it or put it together, to not just pick it out and decide which one I want, but to put it together. So this is the cream of the crop. So right now, while we're at home, we can't afford to be losing muscle mass. You need to be tracking not just your weight, but your body composition. And if you're thinking, I can't do any of these things, here's my suggestion to you. Poor woman's body composition measure is do your weight and track your inches. And if you get on that scale and you see that your weight is changing, your weight is going down, make sure you get that tape measure out and measure. So you wanna be having a reduction of inches that is kind of reflected in that weight. So muscle is much more compact than fat. So fat can marble in your muscle and it can lay on the outside of that muscle. When you have more muscle, what happens is we tend to 
pour some of that fat out. We lose some of that fat by increasing your metabolism and you are smaller. You may not see the scale change as dramatically going down, but you will be smaller. So we can see those inches going down, then we have some more confidence at least that if you're losing weight, it is fat and not as much muscle. So that said, what I'm gonna show you right now is just unboxing. Because for me, it's like, how long will that take me to put it together? What kind of calibration is required? Because my attention span for doing things like this is about like this. I would so much rather that I had my 25 year old here and he could set this up for me and just say, here's how you do it every day. This is what you do, <laughs> not gonna happen. And he is gonna be zero help. So what I'm doing is unboxing this and I will tell you that I have no brand affinity here other than this is the model that as I consult with fitness centers and um, personal trainers, small boutiques, I recommend everybody have one of these. Um, and I don't mean a scale like this, but the brand, the in-body version, when you actually are going out, you're standing on it, holding on to it with your hands, they run about $10,000. And that's because they do multiple people, they can restore the data, give you a printout, and um, it's well worth it. If you belong to a fitness center that does that, even that is worth the risk right now, though you may not be going in. I would go in and get that test done every couple months. You need to know right now that you are not losing muscle and that you are at the least not losing weight. That is muscle or gaining fat. So what I'm gonna do here, and then give you the batteries, which is awesome. I'm just unboxing so that you can see literally in real time, how much time does this take me? And you can also see, so I'm impressed with the way they've wrapped it up. Now there's an app that I'll set up as well on my phone. So you'll need to download that so you can kind of track your measure, which is perfect. So month to month, um, you know, or every couple of months, you're able to look at this. So I'm just gonna go through this really quickly or as quickly as I can. So in real time, literally, right? So height wise, um, you're gonna place the in-body on a flat, hard surface. So right now I happen to be on carpet. I'm gonna move it so that I'm over here and can do a little bit more unpacking from here. I'm gonna rip this out. It's well kept here. So it's in a sealed plastic bag along with the batteries, which is super nice, right? So you get the batteries included, you know, you have to think, oh my gosh, I've gotta, gotta go. Now, I'm only gonna get so far, right? Cause I've gotta download the app on my phone and guess what I'm recording on, <laughs> on my phone, right? So what I'm gonna go through is set up instructions as far as I can, and then I will let you know how long it takes, I'll take a little break and come back as I download the app. So I'll be back for that. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna go through product components. Reading this, I don't know about you, but reading instructions is not my strong suit. I will show you what we're doing here and why this is beneficial. So while I'm standing on this and you can see that basically these are almost like electrodes that you're standing on. And then you've got the handheld, so your fingertips are also, and your fingers here and your thumbs will be on these. So you'll be standing in a position and then holding on to it so that you're sending the bioimpedance reading through your feet and up and through your hands and down, giving you a best possible read. So rather than just standing on the scale, the accuracy for that already went up, at least the information that you know already went up, all right? So, so installing the InBody app, I'm gonna have to download and install the InBody app from my iPhone or the um, Google Play Store, depending, right? So it can be on an Android as well. Anybody still using one of those? All right, 
and there's also a QR code so you can download. Once the download is complete, I'm going to open up the InBody app and register as a new user. So I'm going to see you in a little and I will let you know when I've got that done. Here's a little shot of Truman helping me. Here's the mess, it's a very small mess, all right? And here's the Omron. Let me turn this around. For now, what I know for right now is that the weight is a little bit off. I mean, it's, it's probably off by 13 or more pounds. And here's what I'm gonna do by comparison's sake. So I'm gonna actually do a quick visit to my gym later today and get on one of the industrial size measurements. But here's what I show you. I want to show you how easy it is. So basically, there's a little button here in the middle. I'm going to click that. My height is already in it. As I stand on it and wrap my fingers around, it's already in the process of measuring. So my arms go out straight. I'm standing nice and tall. And now I'm waiting as it beats. It's measuring first weight, body composition, muscle mass, BMI and it's tracking all of those. And then when it's finished, right now, just kind of beeps friendly at me to let me know that. So I can look down and I can see all of them. So I can see where the weight was. The weight adjusted a little bit, um, so it's a little bit better. Body composition looks much better, um, much more accurate. Muscle looks better. BMI is improved a little bit too. So this is just the second time I did it. I did it the first time during the setup for myself, and that's where I noticed it's off, the weight now is better. And part of it is this. So I was doing it on a, I'm on a tile floor, so it is flat, it's not carpet, but I was between um, this kind of the grout, basically. So it's very sensitive. So you need it to be on a really flat floor. And I'm gonna do it one more time. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it start again. And I'm gonna see what happens. So third time, that I've been on it in a short period of time. And I just want you to see my posture so my arms are out straight and it will begin monitoring here in just a second. So easy press, my thumbs, my fingers, four feet of my heels are all on the right place. It's beeping because it's working and now it's done. So I'm gonna read it now one more time. So just about the same as last time, this is fairly accurate though. Now we're getting close. So the very first time it was measuring at about 143 as far as weight. I know that's not where I am. I know I'm a little higher than I really feel the best, but I'm, I'm about 130. So it's measuring even still a little bit high right now. So I'm gonna try it on a different floor space and I recommend that if you were doing it, you would do the same. And then you wanna look at calibration. So the most common reason for the weight displaying but not being appropriate or accurate is probably that you're on a surface that isn't quite level and that could be literally it's not level or like this I was over kind of two different tiles and even in the grout so it's super sensitive which is a good thing all right so what I've got here though is a good record. Even if this doesn't come absolutely, you know, same kind of reading that you might get in your doctor's office, what you wanna know here is that you see change. Change is accurate. So you wanna see your weight, your body composition. BMI is not gonna change all that much because if your height is this, your weight is this, BMI only changes because weight does tells you zero, zip, nada, BMI doesn't count, okay? So it does not tell you if that's fat weight or muscle weight. And I'll tell you what's gonna fit into your genes better is more muscle, less fat. It's also gonna decrease your risk of heart attack and it's gonna make you age like a babe, okay? All right, so there you have it. That model is the InBody H20N and I, am a fan so so far this would be my recommendation if you have the ability to invest i would do it and i'll keep you on track and up to date about what i'm learning but right now i've got the results from these two three measures actually that i've done now right to my phone 
on the app so I can track measurements. Now, three times in one day, is that valuable? No, but when you're looking week to week and you can look at, here it is, October 20th, what is it, November 20th? What is it, December 20th? Now you've got gold for how well are my habits stacking up to giving me the results that I want. And you have it at your fingertips or at your toe tips in your own personal bathroom. That's the way to track whether your exercise, your nutrition, your sleep, and I'm sorry about that, but Truman just couldn't resist giving you a kiss. <laughs> But whether those things are working for you and you can more quickly make a rapid pivot and change what you're doing all right i'll leave the link to my amazon page so you can see exactly where that is and what to do if you're interested but we're heading into gift season and if you want to be healthy at home you know this is one of the ways in addition to taking your vitamins and eating your vegetables that you can track is it working i'll see you on the flip side Add your questions down below and by the way don't forget if you're not subscribed go ahead and do that so when I post another video you get alerted and you'll know 